All right, boys. So we have our week three match of the FDL season two with our homie freaking chocolate, aka Duncan. Um, I'll quickly jump over into the spreads before I quickly link up with him and get some battles in. All right, guys. Um, Duncan is waiting for me here, so I do want to kind of be quick. So Lilligant here. I mean, it's a pretty pretty standard Lilligant set, just adamant focus sash. Um, it should outspeed everything, even boost the bundle. Um, it's there for the after your eruptions. Um, and CC Solar Blade are just really really good. Um, Torkoal. I've got Heat Rock this week because I do kind of just want those extra turns. Um, he could potentially change the weather on me. I think he has access to Snowscape and Rain Dance. Um, but I'm hoping that doesn't come down to it. But yeah, this one's here. Fire off some eruptions. We got the Solar Beam as well because I am kind of scared of his Gastro. Uh, Walking Wake. Walking Wake is my guy. I'm almost certain this is going to bait in the Gastro. Uh, because of that, I don't know if I'll actually even bring Wake this week. Um, it's kind of there just to scare him. But yeah, uh, Wake is the dude. Um, Roaring Moon. Uh, choice ban for attack. Uh, Roaring Moon, man. It's it's so good. And in a, in a week like this where I'm really kind of scared of what um of what he's gonna bring. Uh, you know. This is just a really offensive mod where under Tailwind it can outspeed basically everything he has and just pump out damage. Uh, my whole team is basically um, spread to just make sure they outspeed the um, the the max speed. Uh, what is it? Chiyu. So max speed to my Chiyu. Um, we have the Terra Fairy on this because I do you know see it any game where it's probably like Moon versus uh, Drago. So yeah. Um, I was considering Earthquake on this set as well. Um, ended up going with U-Turn. I hope that doesn't come back to bite me in the ass. Uh, I think Rock Slide should be, you know, more than enough though, because I do anticipate the Braviary coming for the Tailwind. Uh, Mercro, my guy, um, he's my Tailwind setter this week. We are Terra Fairy once again, just in case we need to sit in front of the Reggie Drago. Um, we got a Violite. We got Snarl. I think Snarl's super good into him this week, obviously. Our Tailwind, uh, Protect as well, because I do think I may have to stall that turns. And then finally, Quash, just in case we're in a situation where, you know, Quash is just better than Tailwind. Like, hey, maybe it's Tailwind versus Tailwind. Uh, Roaring Moon is in front of the the Iron Mundle, and I really need to KO it. Finally, uh, Iron Moth. Iron Moth is just a fantastic mod on my team, I think. It's really good in Sun. It supports the team really well. It's like really good next to the, the Wake and the Torkoal in particular. Um, it's another Energy Ball user too, mainly uh, why I've got it. I just want to make sure I've got as many ways to deal with Gasho as I can. But that's the team, guys. Let me know what you think of it down below. Um, but yeah, let's, uh, let's link up with the homie Duncan. All right, so game one here against Duncan. Um... Okay, this is basically more or less what I kind of expected. Um, he does have the priority block in the potential trick room there with the giraffe. Uh, he does have the gasher, obviously really, really good into my wake. Uh, he's brought the, the the dynamic duo really of Iron Bundle and Chi, which is also freaking scary. Uh, Reggie Drago also, if I guess the click buttons, is scary. And then his potential tailwind setter here is the, the Hisuian Braviary. So... We'll lead with what we were planning here. I'm thinking these two. And then what do I want in that last slot? Um, see, the issue here is... What do I want to bring here? Because this is booster special attack. Which means... Game, game one is all about finding out whether or not this um, this bundle, I think, is packing the heat. If, if bundle is booster, then it could be, you know, a bit problematic. But if he's not, then speed's not a as big an issue. Like, I mean, obviously, Tailwind is still needed to outspeed it. Um, but yeah, it's it's not going to be as big an issue. I, I kind of want it to be boosted. That way, we have the ability just to, like, try turn one, pick it up with the um the eruption here. But we'll see how he wants to play this. Uh, I'm, I am planning on playing this quite slow, um, at least to start. That's why we do have the double protect here. And we've gone the, um, the heat rock here. Just to, like, make sure we have those extra turns of sun. What's he going to go with? Bubbles and Shady. So this is the lead I expected. We get to see if he's booster here or not. Beta Ruin comes out. That's fantastic. And are you going to be Sash or no Sash? Okay, he's booster. All right. Because he is booster, I do almost want to just attack turn one here. Um, but I'm going to give him a chance to show me what he wants to do here. So we'll just go protect. And we'll go protect. Because, like, theoretically, too, we do have access to... Um, the, the, we have access. The Lilligan here can always just one shot the left shot slot as well. Uh, both Solar Blade and Close Combat pick it up if it doesn't Terror. But I'm really curious to see how he wants to do this here. Basically, like, the gist of my plan, though, is just to try to, like, break open a hole for Roaring Moon to come and clean this up. Because if I had to guess as well, there's most likely a Gastro in the back. But that, like, we're, we're fine. We've got plenty of grass moves for it. I'm not really scared of the Gastro here. Not to mention, too, a couple breaking swipes in the sun will just, like, yeah, remove it. Okay, and he is going to go Terra here. We get to scout it out. What is he going for? Terra? Is this going to be Terra Water? Because that's kind of what I expected. It's Terra Fire. Okay. Chiyu Terra Fire. Chiyu Terra Fire. 
Uh, we're going to double protect here too. Are we going to see protect out of bundle here though is the big question. We are. Okay. So that is a big reason why we've done that, obviously. Um, now he does get to threaten us here. Actually, does he get to threaten us? We might be able to just pick this up with the CC. He goes the heat wave. That's fine. I really quickly want to just check what a, an Adam and um, CC would do here. Uh, Lilligan. Lilligan in the sun. I'm adamant. Versus a Chiyu. Um, let's just say it's a Chiyu. Just go blank set. If he if he's no bolt, um, but Terra... Uh, let's just go Terra... Fuck, what is he going to be? A Terra Fire, a Terra Fire. Do I, I hope I've got enough time here. Yeah, so CC never picks this up. Um, so we'll just go to the After You Eruption here. Because whatever comes in on the left here is going to take a lot of damage. Ah, uh, I probably should have gone CC. This is only bad, I guess, if he burns me, right? Oh, this is fine. This is going to take a lot of damage here. He also lost his booster too, which is pretty important. Because this will now put that in close combat range. And we just one tap that. Oh my god. That's a lot of damage. All right, so how much did we do there actually on that? I probably should have paid a bit more attention to that. I was too busy um, looking at calcs. Don't burn me, please. Okay, lefty's... Yeah, not lefty, sorry. Sash holds on, that's great. Okay, and he's life orb to you too. All right, to you being life orb is good here. Taylor Swift comes in. What is this? Okay, and this is the Reggie Drago too. So once again, I'm just going to protect both my mons here and scout out what he wants to do. Because we are in a position now where we can probably just look to sack these two off. And then have our um, have our Roaring Moon in the back just do what he needs to and just sweep through here. Because at this point too, with no Terra, I'm pretty sure breaking swipes will just like rip a hole in his team. Like, I'm banded in the sun, so it's going to be, yeah, crazy damage, as long as I get the Tailwind up next to it. I just want to make sure he doesn't try to protect the Chi Yu here. Also, I kind of hope we don't show that I am the Heat Rock in Game 1. Earth Power? Okay, so we, he's got Earth Power on the Reggie. Also, the fact that that outsped means Reggie's also scarfed. Uh, that's good to know. Reggie is choice scarfed. Um, uh, I'm almost certain that they're both in range of me here. I'm just going to go CC here and just fire off a, a heat wave. He can have both these mods. It's actually like best case scenario too if he gets both of them this turn. Gets the earth power. I really need this heat wave to connect. <laughs> if heat wave misses, it's actually really bad. Like, I need both mons to go down this turn so that my, uh... Oh, thank god, yeah. So my breaking swipe can pick up both these mons in the in the tailwind tier. So, interesting, he doesn't bring gastro in game one, but I guess he did have decent resists into it. So, it being the, the walking wake. Um, a lot of teams right now are very scared of my walking wake. They are. They know what it can do. Frank's the, yeah, Frank's the talent. Just, just make Travis sure stuffed up my sets. Uh, but this should be pretty good for the Roaring Moon here just to clean up shop. Because the best part too is we do have Quash as well. So even if he was to Icy Windows, it wouldn't be that big an issue. Um, but yeah, we can we can comfortably just go... Oh, if he's... Yeah, nah, if I've got Tailwind, he can't outspeed me if he's Scarf. I'm going to just go Tailwind here. Yeah, this should be a roaring mid sweep if I uh, if I had to guess. We do have Snarl as well, so next to Ah, oh, do I really want to show off my Terra Fairy though? Ooh, that's probably good to hold, right? Because we there's no way he kills us with any one ice move, so we should be, always get at least one breaking swipe and a snarl off. I mean, there's a world in where he protects the Chiyu here, but it really doesn't do anything. Oh, okay, and he's actually just giving us this. So that's actually really good, because now we don't even have to worry about throwing out terrors. We're just going to kill all these mons here. There's no way Shady takes two breaking swipes. Oh, 
Also, he has lost his boost, which means my Mercury is also faster, so we can always fire off Snarls here. Oh my god. <laughs> Look, fortunately for me, the crit does not matter there, but yeah, geez, that's a lot of damage, eh? Roaring Moon in the Sun, man. What a mon. What a freaking monster. I guess a potential throw would be Chiyu surviving, but I don't think there's a world in which Chiyu survives his breaking swipes right now. Like, I'm banded in the sun. I'm adamant 252. Like, this attack stat is absolutely absurd right now. Yo, I actually want to quickly see what this attack stat is. Uh, Roaring Moon. Roaring Moon. 252. Adamant in the sun. And we carried both. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, this, this is, I just want to see this number. Yeah, choice band. So apparently, uh, it's not going to show me my actual attack stat. That's really sad. Damn. But apparently, uh, yeah, I do a lot of damage. <laughs> I do a lot of freaking damage. Uh, I show off the Snarl there, though, which does kind of suck. Um, Snarl, obviously, fantastic until these special attackers in the late game. Like, if I ever get up the Tailwind, it puts it in a really good spot. But thankfully, we can just go the Breaking Swipe here, and we can just go the Snarl here. No reason to show anything else, right? Yeah, no reason to show off here. Breaking Swipe, and the Roaring Moon gets three, baby. So it was, for me, it was Torkoal gets one, Torque, one KO, and then Moon three. Moon three KO. Yeah, Roaring mid, man. Roaring mid. Ah, oh, that's a great game one. How do I want to adjust for game two here? Um, Probably don't want to adjust, right? I think the Roaring Moon late game is really, really good into him. I just got to make sure I break the hole in his, you know, in his, his game plans here. But I want to leave the exact same team. I mean, I, I see no reason to change it up, right? I'm just trying to think here. Because clearly I need Sun. He does, like, the thing is he has a Trick Room mode, but he has no priority on his own end. So he doesn't really have a way to, like, lower the damage before the eruption comes out. Um, Yeah, I don't see any reason to change it, honestly. Just do, you know, go with what we know. Um, because we could even try to play for a position where, like, we get Roaring Moon next to the, um, the Lilligant late game. I definitely think he's going to change it up here. Um, you know, as strong as that Chiyu was in the sun, I don't think he can really afford to, like, let me just damage it again like that. I am kind of regretting no Earth Power as well, because that kind of would have been really sick there. I wonder what my Torkoal actually would do to that. Um, Torkoal, let's have a look at it. Torkoal, I, actually, what am I saying? It, it always lives, yeah. Like, even if it's no bulk, I'm still, like, it's doing 70% max. So that's a lot. It's 68% max. So, yeah. See what he wants to do. Um, what else is scary? I, I feel like all of his non-resist just get one-tapped, especially because of that Chiyu. Because that's the other thing, too. He might not notice that the reason he probably got one-shot there was the um the Chiyu reducing the giraffe special attack stat. Because, like, if I if I just put in, like, uh, a Rigoraf here... Like, just the... Is that a... Yeah, so, like, that's full offense. So, um, even if he has zero spadef investment, I actually never one-shot that in the sun. Uh, but the second you add in the Beads of Ruin, it becomes a 112% minimum. Um, so, hopefully, he doesn't know that, because potential Terra Fire um, may be my play here as well if he goes for something a bit slower. Um, you know, say it's, like, the Giraffe plus um, uh, Braviary lead or something. I could go Terra Fire here and fire off the Eruption. But maybe he did know that that's what... Um, Cost him to kill as well, though. Maybe he calc for it. Shady is on the lead again. Okay, so once again, this is his lead of choice. Uh, my question is, though, does Braviary actually live this? Pursuing in Braviary, even if he's max HP, will live this. But if I'm Terrifier... Yeah, if I'm Terrifier, this Braviary never lives, which means neither does his friend. Fire off a Eruption here. Oh, I am kind of getting punished. Though. Oh, I just did that calc with a charcoal on. Oh, no. Oh, okay. Apparently, even if he's max HP, I'm a 75% chance to KO the left slot. Oh, boys. Have I just choked because I calc with a charcoal? Oh, no. Please, Torkoal, please. Dude, watch him be like, 
Ooh, watch him live this and it's really sad. Because, like, the thing is, he's trying to get up his own Tailwind this turn, right? Oh, dude, is it sashed? Yeah, Braviary sashed, okay. Alright, uh, um, I still think our end game doesn't change here, though. So this time, we're actually just going to go Protect, and we're going to go Heat Wave. Because we can pick up both these mods with a Heat Wave here. Um, and we just need to try get our Murkrow in safely. Um, it would be really nice to get Murkrow in as well, like, next to my Lilligant. Because Lilligant's still the fastest thing on the board if I get Tailwind up. Like, Sun Plus Tailwind's huge for it. Snowscape. Okay, okay. I see you, Duncan. So he can change the weather. I never got a chance to do that last game, I'm guessing. Air Slash. We can live that. That's fine. So this puts me in a position, though, where bringing in my, um, bringing my Murkrow probably isn't that bad here, right? Wait, Icarus dodged? Oh, no. Dude. <laughs> Oh, actually, no, that's like, that's really sick, right? We're actually like, okay with that miss here, I think. Because one of the chances he ice moves that slot there and like stops me from getting Tailwind up. Because he, he would have to double that right slot right now to stop me. And we've kept our sun alive in the back too, which is really nice. I see, we tank those. We're like max bedef investment on this Murkrow. That should be an air slash on my left slot, right? Do I want to set up the sun again? Yeah, I think I need to stall out turns here. I need to get rid of his Tailwind and then allow mine to go up. You know what? I don't. I actually don't have to stall here, right? Yeah, last turn of Tailwind. I, I can just get up my Tailwind and attack here. Because he, he, even if he goes the Snowscape right now, I, I should pick up both KOs and then I have the Tailwind at the ready. And even if he if he removes the sun, then his Chiyu loses the boost, which is sick. And then we have the dragon in the back as well. He goes freeze dry. We might actually live. Oh my god, what a mon. Esper wing. We eat those. Not very well, apparently, but we eat them. And we KO both. Okay, that's sick. That's sick. I am kind of surprised he didn't try to change the sun, but I'm guessing it's because whatever he has in the back can um, kind of abuse it, right? When I say what he's got in the back, I'm Chi Yu is what I'm referring to, by the way. <laughs> um, the big question now, though, is does my Crow at minus one outspeed a Timid Max Chi Yu? Or an, is Reggie Drago a choice scarf? Okay. I'm okay with the Drago coming in, and I'm okay with the Chi Yu coming in here. Um, I want to keep Crow alive here, I think. So we'll just go Heat Wave and we'll just go Protect. We get to see what he wants to Terra here as well. If he goes Terra, like, Steel Drago, then this one feels kind of over. It depends if he clicks a Dragon move or not, though, really. This turns... Okay, and he doesn't show Terra, damn. Okay, and he's locked himself into Dragon Energy. That's massive. Because I have the Terra Fairy in the back for this exact moment. Oh, the big question is though... Now, there's no way Crow at minus one speed is outspeeding the um the thingy here, is it? The Heat Wave comes out. That's A-OK. -okay. Um... I guess, I mean, now I'm going to take my time here real quick. I'm going to use this Roaring Moon versus Chi Yu. Chi Yu, uh, Light Bulb set. Um, clicking, Breaking Swipes. Breaking Swipes in the sun. Um, I'm adamant, 252. I really should have kept these calcs up. Sorry, it was 252. Breaking Swipe in the sun with a Choice Band. Band, Choice Band. So apparently my breaking swipe will only do at most 98% um, to this uh, 
Chiyu. And in the sun, if I am Terra Fairy. Fairy, fairy, fairy. Terra Fairy in the sun. Apparently, he should not kill me. Okay, no, he will. Yeah, he's going to. He, I think he's going to carry me here. I don't even have my Terra Fairy. Holy crap. Don't even stress, boys. I, dude, I calculated this all to have my Terra Fairy, man. <laughs> uh, shit. Um, yeah, this is an idea. I think we're going to lose this one here then. What Terra is this? Terra. He's Terra Fairy. <laughs> okay, okay. Dude, imagine if I had my Terra Fairy still. That would have been so funny. Yeah, okay. And we only did about, what's that? 60 to 70. All right, that's good for game two. So game three now. Um, How do I want to adjust this? I think Wake has to come in the back. But how do I want to adjust it though? Do I have a way... Hmm. I'm just trying to think of my way through this right now. Is, is the exact same lead the play, but I hold my Terra Fairy? Same lead, but I hold my fairy. Yeah, I, I think I think I gotta stick to it, right? I, I think it works. Like I know he's Terra Fairy now. He doesn't know I'm Terra Fairy. I think we go the exact same lead, um, but this time we probably attack, like just attack with both mons on turn one if he goes for it. Oh, I really want to bring oh, is Wake better than Moon here? What are my moon's moves like? Turn rocks like mmm. Or a troll breaking sword, you said. Scary, it's scary. Cause I mean, like, Wake is really nice. The issue is. If he goes Gastro, it's just automatically GG here. You know what, I think we're going to stick to it. I'm just going to quickly calc if that was Rock Slide instead. Rock Slide. Okay, my Rock Slide always KO'd. That was a throw. I think had I just Rock Slided there, um, we would have been okay. So I'm I'm pretty confident going for the exact same play and then we click Rock Slide in the back. Because we know he's Terra Fairy now. Um, I guess maybe it's good that we didn't even show up our Rock Slide there, but... Look, who knows? You know what? Let me let me run a calc real quick. Reggie, Drago, uh, Choice Scarf set. Yeah, so my Rock Slide would have only done about 50%, even with zero bulk investment to him. So I need to save the Terra Fairy this time and then get it off. But yeah, I think if he leads the same stuff turn one, um, we just double attack. Shady Icarus, yeah, he's gone the same lead, different sides. That's fine. I think we just go Heat Wave and we see and we Solar Blade here, right? Yeah, just double the right slot, I think. I think Solar Blade's better than CC, right? Because I think it 4x resists the the other one. And we just go Heat Wave here. Yeah, Shady protecting itself is fine. He's just going to Tailwind here, but I really just want to remove this thing. I don't actually even know if this was the play, man. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Just hit, please. Just hit, please. It's going to Tailwind. That's okay. Please hit. Okay, and we connect. Oh, we don't actually KO. Oh, we got the burn though. That burn's actually going to be huge. Hopefully it survives this turn. Okay, that surviving is actually massive for us because I don't think he can ever KO my Torkoal here. And Torkoal... Wait, I'm in the sun, right? 
He's faster than me now. But that's okay. Let's do this. Because I think he's going to snowscape here, right? And even if he doesn't, this is still okay. Because, like, either he snowscapes and he, he aims down my, my left slot here. Or I pick off his right slot as he, like, you know, like, doesn't icy wind me. Yeah, and, and with that now, what that allows me to do here is pick up the right slot with the CC and then fire off a heat wave into the bundle. That's good. Oh, it was faster. Oh my god, I thought I would outspeed that. I'm so upset. Dude, I can't believe that's faster. Oh, of course, he t that's because he changed the sun. Damn, I really wish I doubled left now. I really wish I doubled left now. I need this to connect. I need this to do big damage. Oh, I'm getting all the burns, apparently. All right, whatever he goes into here really needs to be something that doesn't... Mm, something that doesn't uh, just straight up, like, kill my mons in the back. Now he goes the Drago here. Okay. Um, How do I want to play this? I, the thing is, I can't just swap, right? So, how many turns of Tailwind are left here? Is it two? Two turns. So, I could double protect here, then sack, then go Terra Fairy Rock Slide. I think that's my play, right? He's going to show me the Terra Fairy here. That's okay. Man, so much offense in this game. It's so scary. <laughs> it's all about positioning at the end of the day, sadly. Freeze dry onto the left slot, I'm assuming. Oh, wait, he freeze dried. Oh, because he was predicting the swap, of course. Is there a world in which I ever want to double protect here? Probably not, right? Yeah, this is the last turn of Tailwind. We kind of just take it for what it is and then just attack. Um, fire off a CC ride. It's not really going to do anything here. Same with the Heat Wave. Just fire him off. Pray we catch the Iron Bundle with one. Unfortunately, I think this Dragon Energy will KO both my... Oh, he gets the burn. Not that that really matters. We will defrost if we get out of this. But I think this is enough to carry both mods pretty comfortably. Yeah. All right, so he's no Tailwind. I am Tailwind. I have my Terra Fairy. He doesn't. Oh, he doesn't know I have my Terra Fairy, I mean. Because the thing is, he's locked in on this um, Reggie Drago now. Oh, as long as we connect on the Iron Bundle this turn, I think we're okay. That's all we need to do right now is connect on the Iron Bundle and we're A-okay. There's a 10% chance we lose this game right now. Um, let's pray it doesn't happen, hey? So we go Tailwind. We go Terra Fairy. Rock Slide. Dude, I'm like kicking myself for not running EQ. Like, I literally had an EQ over U-Turn. And I was like, oh, maybe I need to pivot. It's like, nah, dude, I should have just fucking clicked it. Like, if I had EQ, this was like 100% done. EQ does more damage to both of these mons. And it kills everything he's got in the back. Oh, Terra Fairy. Come on. Tailwind, he didn't protect. Just hit the bundle, please. <laughs> hit the freaking bundle. Oh, we connect on both. That's it. Dude, that didn't even do 50? I s oh, it's because I don't have the sun boost anymore, of course. Flinch? Oh my god, boys. Look, I don't know if the flinch mattered. Um, Murkrow with the Violite is like max per death or near max per death. I think it would have lived. But yeah, that is, um, that's a big ult for him. I want, you know, I'm going to quickly calc this, right? My Murkrow. Murkrow. I want to know for his sake. I think I'm I'm 220, right? 220 max HP. Uh, yep, that looked about right against a Reggie Drago at, let's just say he's 75% just to be fair to him. Um, okay, yeah. Dragon Energy would have done 52% max to me there. So that's that's okay. I'm I'm okay with that now. Um, I guess now let's just not miss the Rock Slide, yeah, boys? <laughs> 
Because that'll KO. Oh, actually, we don't have Sunboost for Chiyu. It doesn't matter. We outspeed here and KO with Snarl. Oh my god, do we miss the Ch We missed the Chiyu. Oh no, that's bad. This overheat's actually going to do damage. Not overheat, sorry, the other one. Oh my god. Dude, he might actually be able to KO my moon here if he has like overheat. Oh, he's heat wave. Come on, hold moon. Ooh. Oh, I need to get that. Okay, thank god. Thank god. If he, I don't know if he carries overheat, but he, there's actually a chance he would have one-tapped me there. I don't know how high it was. Um, because he probably did need the, um, he probably did need the sun, but my god, GG. Roaring moon once again, boys. Coming in clutch. Oh my god. So moon got another three KOs and Toko got another one. I'm gonna have to watch game two again, because I don't know who got what KOs. But oh my god, GG, Duncan. GG. What a game, man. So much offense. You love to see it. Like, his offensive core is so freaking cool, man. I love it. Reggie, Drago, Iron Bundle, and Chiyu, it, like, it puts out so much special damage. And I'm like, I'm a big Chiyu fan, boys. Like, if I had an early pick in this draft, I probably would have gone Chiyu. But anyway, boys, GG to Duncan. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, catch us in the next one. Peace. And GG, my guy. GG, my guy.